It's time for season five of Around Texas with Chancellor John Sharp. So we are actually here in College Station on the Texas A&M University campus to speak to the chancellor himself about his Emmy award winning TV show. The Texas A&M University system is like no other in the world. Across our great state, the system is home to 11 universities and eight state agencies. Absolutely thrilled to be here with Chancellor Sharp right now. First of all, congratulations on the two Lone Star Emmys that your show has received. That's, a, that's just a huge accomplishment. Yeah, these folks do a, a great job. Uh, they, they continue to surprise me with some of, the, some of the things they come up with that are little hidden gems within the Texas a and system. No, I, I totally agree. It's really a quality production. You've been going on now for for five years and, and running. So talk about why you wanted to create a TV show and, and what people can expect out of it. Well, we wanted to create it because the Texas A&M system is very different from every other system of higher yeah. education, almost in the country, certainly in Texas, because we not only have you know, 11 universities, but we also have eight state agencies ranging everywhere from taking care of forests to putting out fires to rebuilding after hurricanes and all kinds of things like that that people don't know about. And, uh, and uh, but we thought that they'd find it interesting. And since the taxpayers pay for this place, sure. we thought it would be a good idea to let them know the, the total breadth of what the A&M system is about. I've got to hear more about this episode about an ocelot. It sounds like the production team spent quite a, a bit of time getting into this one. Yeah, that's at uh, Texas A&M Kingsville and the uh, foundations down there, the East Foundation, have, it w wants to protect ocelots. I think there's like 200 left in the wild or something mm -hmm. like that. And so this will be a facility uh, where they're uh, bred and then released and uh, you know back into the into the wild down in, in South Texas. And so it's a really interesting show about a, a breed of animal that almost is never seen, uh, but very close to extinction in the country. Uh, now there's another one, another episode coming up about a renewed rivalry. Talk about that episode. That, that's going to be an episode about A&M and the University of Texas yeah. haven't played football you know, since 2011. Sure. And so this is the first shot back at it and both of the universities have different celebrations that they're putting together uh, to celebrate the renewal uh, of, the, of that rivalry and so it's going to be a show about the history of what that rivalry has been about and what um, and just w what it means to people at both universities. And you really go in depth on the topics which I think is particularly special. T talk about why somebody who may not be an Aggie but perhaps is in the viewing area or is able to access these online would be interested in, in checking out the show. Well for instance one of the things that we're doing with NASA right now is we're building two buildings uh, right across the street from NASA. Everything that NASA has right now is about orbiting, but what they're fixing to do is colonize Mars and colonize the moon, and they have no place to test their robots and test their astronauts on a moon surface or, or a Mars surface, and so we're recreating two buildings, each of which is going to be have the same footprint as Kyle Field. I mean, they're a huge building. <laughs> uh, and they're going to allow private sector people and NASA to access it with their robots and with their personnel uh, to as close as possible, except for the gravity, uh, replicate what the surface of the moon is and what the surface of, the Mar of Mars is and how those uh, robots and things will, will uh, react before they send them to the moon surface and the Mars surface. Talk about a huge impact. Yeah. Thank you so much for the time and, and congratulations on everything. Well, thank you. My pleasure. It's our pleasure. Season five kicks off on October 12th, which is a Saturday at 10 a.m. and then runs for 12 weeks. We have all the details on our website, CW33.com, or you can go to sharparoundtexas.com.